Hey guys, Ken Finn here. I got the request. So, War Mech it is. Now, a rule of thumbs. While trying to look for War Mech, if you are actually crazy enough to try to look for him, or it, make sure that you maintain a full supply of HP and MP. Or at least on your mages for the MP. The uh, knight doesn't need it. There is only a 1 in 64 chance of War Mech even appearing, but it only appears on this particular floor of this particular dungeon. So, without further ado, I'll see you guys when I find War Mech. It has a good chance of ambushing you, by the way, so this fight can either go your way or not. I found him! I found him. Death Machine, otherwise known as War Mac. I'm actually really freaking lucky to get preemptive strike on this thing. <clears throat> We're gonna start off by using the Giant's Gloves to cast Saber. Well, we can only do it for one person at a time, but... Uh, <clears throat> gonna put Temper on that same person. And the white mage will begin the battle by, let's see, all I have is options. Ah, casting Invisera from the white robe. This thing has 2,000 HP. Hold on. Sorry about that. Kind of a bit of an interruption going on in the house at the moment. Anyway. Obviously, temper and haste are vital for your characters. Again, I'm really, really lucky by getting that uh, preemptive strike on him. Casting Proterra is going to be... As you see, he has an ability called Nuke, which is basically the equivalent to Flare. I probably should have cast Hilga, but I didn't. He recovers 100 HP every round. Um, <clears throat> saber, 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 saber. Um, haste, 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 haste. Healga, 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 healga. He's dangerous. I'm pretty sure that's why they call him Death Machine in this translation. It's because he quite literally is the Death Machine. <sighs> he has 2000 HP, recovers 100 every round, that's 5% of his HP every round he recovers. Um, I'm basically gonna have the White Mage spam Heliga, that way I don't die to another nuke, cause he likes using nuke. 28 hit. I just realized how powerful a hit that was. Anyway, you get 8,000 gil and tons of cash for defeating Death Machine. There's also a chance that he can drop an item called the Genji Armor, which is amazing armor. In fact, give me a second to look it up. Genji armor can be equipped by anyone and has amazing defensive capabilities. That having been said, you can only get in most of the bonus dungeons. And I'm never fighting Warmack again. So, yeah. Take that and roll with it. I'm not going to. Oh boy. Man. Sigh of relief for being War Mech so easily. Man, the monk, he obliterated him. That's why having a master monk whatever is so useful. His ability for damage is amazing. Really. Anyway. Guess where we're going now? We're actually heading back to Dwarf Town. I mentioned this while we were in the Mirage Palace. 
I told you about a certain smith who wants to use the adamantite that we got there to make a weapon. This is an awesome weapon. It's a weapon exclusively for monks, or not monks, <laughs> exclusively for knights, and is, because it's not bugged in this game, one of the most powerful weapons you could ever hope to have. Talk to him. Show him the adamantite. By the way, his name is Smith. And he is a smith. Brilliant game. And he'll use this to make the finest sword a knight can ever wield. Fast forwarding. This is the one of, at least, the ultimate swords of the game. I think Sasuke's blade is another one, but regardless. Excalibur. Do you know what this means? Fool! Of course you don't! I've been watching too much Solier lately. Excalibur has amazing power and attack er, and accuracy. And the best part of it is, it doesn't say this in its description. But you know those weapons I had a, a while back that were strong against certain enemies? This is strong against every enemy. Why does that make sense? I don't know. But it is effectively super effective on every enemy type in the game. That means it's stronger than it says it is. Excalibur is, by far, one of the most powerful weapons ever. Why do you think it's named after the legendary Holy Sword? Ah, oh boy. Excalibur, man. And with Excalibur, We've made our preparations. Really. With Excalibur in hand, we have made our preparations. Well, for the most part, I'm probably gonna have to do some shopping and stuff, but... We're gonna be entering Hellfire Chasm. However, given where I currently stand in my inventory, I kinda don't wanna go right now. <laughs> Um, which probably means that this is going to be a very short episode. However, personally, let's see, uh, 460 seconds, uh, two seconds each is a minute, so two minutes is 120, four minutes is 240, uh, double that is 560. Or an 80. So, we're coming around 7 ish minutes then. I realize I just bored you with math, but whatever. And I don't want to start this place without doing some adequate research, a couple of test runs, and some other stuff. So, I'm sorry if you wanted me to get a whole lot of crazy stuff done, but honestly, I want to have not only adequate time for this dungeon. I also want to have adequate preparation. That having been said, I guess I'll have to see you guys next time, and we'll enter the Hellfire Chasm. I've been Kinfin, I took on Warmech, and I'll see you guys then.